Hi there, and welcome back to another Bob Blast. Yay, another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, and this one is all about those fluorescent, luminous colors. Eek! I know you've gone to the art stores and see those bright colors. Ah, uh, the 60s, they're back again. And here they are. <laughs> Holbein here has decided to take all those luminous fluorescent colors and put them in one kit. Makes it easy for me, us old hippies, right? They're back. Now I know you probably asked yourself, what about the permanency of these colors? I don't care. None of us are permanent. I use them and I mix them in my other paints. In fact, that's what the technicians at Holbein suggested. To make them more permanent, add them to other paints. That's how that works, right? So let me show you the, the chart. I made a chart of those six colors. Almost look like grade school crossing guard colors, right? You can't miss these. They're very fluorescent. But I think I'll take this opera pink, mix it with blue, and look at this beautiful, beautiful color I get. I love it so much. And taking this, this, this yellow marigold and adding it to red, I get this beautiful, bright, brilliant color. So I like to mix it with other colors. Let me show you exactly what I'm about to do. Here's the luminous opera. There we go. Add it to the blue, ultramarine blue. I have my white. Watch this color, it's gonna be beautiful. Add a little bit of blue, add a little bit of this red, the hot pink. Look at this periwinkle color we like so much. Look at that. You can't buy that color. That's that periwinkle color we like so much. Because I've added this luminous opera to it, it's a beautiful, beautiful color. So I mix it with other colors to give it that luminosity. That's what makes it permanent, all right? Well, these colors are not certainly for the weak-hearted, I'll tell you. If you love strong paintings, it's a great way to kind of throw it in to all your other colors. Let me show you another way of what I do with those colors. So besides mixing these fluorescent colors with other colors, I like to sh kind of throw in a little bit raw, luminous color, just to kick it up. A little reflection over here, a little reflection over here. Oh my gosh, look at this sunset. Wow, pretty cool, huh? It's, I know, it's crazy. Let me show you exactly how I like to kick up a color over here. So we have my pear painting, taking a little bit of this. Look at that. There's that dead area. It's all dark. I don't want it to be so dark. Look at that. See, now we add a little bit of life to that dark area down in here. Here's some of the luminous yellow. Woo! Look at how that kicks that up. Just right, just right in there. Not a whole lot. Just a little bit. But besides adding it to the other colors to make it more permanent, I give it a little bit of spark, a little bit of spark. By adding it in the air, look at that. Crazy, huh? It just came to life. That's how I make my paintings come to life. And they excite me, I'm excited about it, and yay, isn't it great to be a painter? Hey, I'll see you on the next Bob Blast, and thanks for sharing these with your friends. Take care. Hi there, painters. Hey, have you ever wanted to meet Van Gogh and Vermeer? I do. Hey, I'm Bob Burridge, and welcome to my Holland Riverboat Cruise. I'm going to Holland. 
I cannot believe to do a workshop on a riverboat cruise. Nine days of a bliss and imagination and accommodations are spectacular. You know, I did this one in Paris, all the way up to Normandy and coming right back down again. I didn't think I was gonna like it. It was spectacular. I said, let's do this again, especially of the accommodation, the crew took care of us, the accommodations, the luxury, were just so well taken care of, the foods, as you can well imagine, the excursions, the entertainment. There's a lot going on on those riverboat cruises, but look where we get to go. We get to go to Van Gogh Museum, Vermeer. We get to see all that history, incredible excursions through those castles, and we get to paint every day, and the meals. We actually hurry back to the lunches on, on, on the cruise ship. It's a small riverboat cruise just for the meals. Let me tell you, they take care of us. One of my favorite things, I'm looking forward to it. Riverboat cruises, that's where it's all happening. Small accommodations, educational especially. So you're gonna see a lot of museums, a lot of castles, and do a lot of painting time with me. I hope to see you there.